Good evening. Welcome to the evening Bible study. If you have the Bible, look at the Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. <laughs> Praise God. To the angel of the church in Ephesus, right. These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in the right hand and works among the seven golden lampstands. I know your deed, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked men, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardship for my name, have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. Remember the height from uh, which you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. But you have this in, this, uh, in your favor. You hate practice of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Yeah. Today, I would like to talk about uh, uh, first love. Do you remember first love? between God and you. Amen. Do you remember the first love? You know, when you met Jesus, how, how you follow Jesus, how you serve Jesus, how you express your heart, how you pray. Do you remember when you met Jesus first time? And this is the first love. Yeah? Do you remember? You are still your honeymoon time. <laughs> Do you remember first love? Remember the first love. Unfortunately, people, they forget the first love. This is very, very, you know, rare. Do you know, this Ephesian church, actually Ephesian church is a, um, one of the biggest church in the early church. Jerusalem church is the biggest church in the in Middle East, in Israel. And the Ephesian church is in Turkey. And then, do you know the population of Ephesus uh, 2,000 years ago? Half a million. Wow. Long, you know, biggest city in the whole world 2,000 years ago, Rome, Italy, one million, but half. So big uh, city, which is ambitious, and the big church is ambitious church. And then this is, uh, you know, seven churches of Asia, chapter 2 and chapter 3 in the book of Revelation. And Revelation chapter 2, and Jesus say, I, you know, these are the words of him who hold the seven stars in, in his uh, uh, right hand, yeah? work among the seven golden lampstand. I know your deed, your hard work. This efficient church, they're working very hard. He says, I know you're working very hard. And uh, your perseverance, I know your patience. You see, you're working very hard, and you have a patience, well done. Very good, wonderful. And he said, I know them, you cannot tolerate the wicked man. Even you tell me the truth, you don't allow these wicked things. The false, false prophet or, you know, these people. Well done. But look, and verse 3, you have uh, persevered and have uh, endured hardship for my name and have not grown weary. You're not grown weary. You keep, you know, uh, patient and you do the hard work and verse 4 revelation chapter 2 yet i hold this against you <laughs> can you imagine jesus say i will against you these things if jesus said to you i will against you something uh, how do you feel you you feel 
It's terrible, terrible. Do you know, Jesus, I rule against you. You efficient church. Look, you have forsaken your first love. It's very important. I speak to myself. You met Jesus 15 months ago. I mean, yeah, three years, I don't know. I mean, yes, 10 years ago. I don't know. For 30 years ago, I remember my first love. You have forsaken your first love. They fire against you. What Jesus say to this church, efficient church. Where is your first love? When you met me, when you serve me, where is your first love? Where is it? And Jesus said, remember the height from which you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. Repent. You have to say, sorry, I'm so sorry. I repent. Confess your sins. And then do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I met many people in our church. They say, they catch the fire. First, I will do it. But where are they? They are gone. Even they don't believe Jesus anymore. They used to preach on the street. They used to come to the morning service. They used to have the fire for Jesus. Where are they? Where are they? Even they don't come to church on Sunday. Where are they? They lost the first love. They do whatever they, they like. They lost the first love. How about you? I remember when I met Jesus. I, I, I want to I want to give everything for, for God. Oh God, what shall I give unto you? I want to do everything. And then, you know, God spoke to me. I can read it for you. The Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 40. Matthew 22. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and greatest command. And second is, uh, is like it. Love your neighbor and yourself. All the law and prophet hang on these two commandments. Love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your life. Yes, I will go do it. And then um, how I express the love God. Oh God, how can I glorify your name? And God gave me a burning desire to win the soul for Jesus. And um, because I believe in Jesus, you know what my father and my mother did? They kicked him out of me from the house. They say, go away, you crazy man. <laughs> we have a very strong Buddhist family. You, you become a Christian, what's wrong with you? My father wanted to remove the, my name from family tree. He said to me, from now on, you are a normal our family. And they kicked him out of me. And do you know where I stay? I stay in the library. <laughs> In South Korea, we have a special library. Of course, uh, you can get the books. But at the same time, do you know where I sleep? I sleep under the desk. Uh -huh. It's uncomfortable, actually. <laughs> Not very good place to sleep. Mainly to study. I don't sleep three, four hours. And um, <coughs> one, one, one guy, a businessman, he told me, he has got a <coughs> private library. He said to me, I heard about you kicking out from your house because you believe in Jesus. And uh, he told me, you can charge of this uh, library. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm the one to, uh, to control the library. And poor people working under me. And then, um, you know, I left the police station and then I was working in the library. And then, um, <coughs> I don't know, around 250 or 300 people study in the library. And I, I look at them. <coughs> but I sleep under the desk. <laughs> and then I sleep three, four hours. But God gave me the desire. We need to solve for Jesus. Do you know what I did? I preached the gospel. You know, these students, uh, most of the students, they are, they are very clever, clever students. In Seoul, Noryangjin is, um, these people, they want to become a solicitor or lawyer or doctor, these kind of people. And these people, they become a politician and governor, and then very uh, clever guys. And then, do you know what I did? I was pushed to gospel for all these uh, young boys and girls around the, 
early 20s, I preached the gospel. Guess how many people gave their life to Jesus? Twelve. Twelve of them. And then in Korea at the time, uh, morning service at 5 a.m., <coughs> I asked them, uh, you can go to the morning prayer meeting at 5 a.m. They wake up before 4.40 or about around 4.30, and they wash their face and they be ready. I still remember in the winter time, heavy snow covered all the the street and the uh, pedestrian everywhere they were covered by white snow and do you know what happened these 12 of them they follow me <laughs> and they, I think about the, uh, Lord Jesus training the 12 disciples <laughs> 12 of them they come and then come to the morning prayer meeting and worshiping God together I remember my first love but what I'm doing now Thanks be to yesterday, five people gave their life to Jesus. Okay. I, want, I need to keep doing it. Remember, repent your sins. Why are you, you know, forsaking the first love? Do it again. Remember what you did in the beginning when you met Jesus. You give your life to Jesus. You want to do something for the Lord. Remember. I remember. I was preaching and 12 of them come and go every morning. I was so excited. But I was preached the gospel by one guy. His name is Mr. Lee. He was very wicked. Whenever I open my mouth and say, Yesu, in Jesus, Yesu. And then he, he not tried to punch me, he attacked me by his public. Never say in front, never ever say about the Jesus in front of me, he said. He shouted. Then everybody's caring about this man. And then, and then, you know, uh, he's older than me. And then I say, okay, but I'll keep on praying for him. Do you know what happened? He always attacked me whenever I open my mouth to say Jesus. He's always angry, angry, angry man. But I keep on praying. Do you know what was happening? God loves him so much. Do you know, he's a very strong man. And do you know what he, he become a dinner, 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 dinner. Like a chopstick. <laughs> Very thin. <laughs> Very thin. <laughs> he went to the hospital and checked, examined. Nobody found what is the main problem. He went to the even Chinese you know, architecture about doctor. He met so many doctors and then checking in the very famous uh, private hospital. Nobody found what is the main problem. And uh, he get a very expensive uh, Chinese uh, organic some m m medicine. I think <laughs> that is uh, almost I don't know, uh, almost a thousand pound uh, the medicine. He spent a lot of money. He put uh, the medicine on the on the top of this uh, uh, desk. I saw him. Can you imagine? I was praying for him. I never asking the Lord give him some strange sickness. I never. I was praying to the Lord save him. That was my prayer. But he become a dinner, and then he did not take me anymore because he was so sick. He he couldn't sit down properly. When you look at me, he will become humble. Do you know God loves the uh, uh, God loves everybody, but especially those who are proud. God opposes the proud. He was very proud of me. I keep on praying. Do you know what I say? I'm passing by. If I stand in front of him, he tried to attack David. I'm passing by him. Do you know what I say? Maybe Jesus will heal you, and then just run away <laughs> because he hates. Maybe Jesus heal you, and then go away. Guess what happened? On that night, he didn't see him. All night, uh, he, he was studying, and he wanted to, he wanted to become a high position of a police, police, or police officer. That is his uh, exam. This man, he didn't sleep all night. Around four o'clock in the morning, he came to me. He was so humble. He said to me, "If you don't mind, uh, can I follow you?" to come to the morning service this morning. Oh. I almost cried. <laughs> he always attacked me, but he said, he want to, he want to follow me. He want to come to the morning, morning service. Yes, please do come.
just watch it from here, attend the morning service and the main chapel here, and then prayer chapel is the other the other bones. He wear the leather jacket. I touch my hand and I start to pray. When I start to pray, do you know what was happening? I have a, I had a great compassion for him. My tears touched his leather jacket, and he hear the the some liquid touch his jacket. Do you know how he cry? He was cry like a baby, <laughs> because of he knew he always attacked me. I was crying for him. His heart melt. He was cry on the floor. He cried. I cried together. I was praying for him. Oh God. Now he humbled himself, save him, and he accepted the Lord Jesus, he is his personal savior, he became born again. And I asked him, Lord, would you heal him? Heal him, heal him. Guess what was happening? On that morning when he came back to the library, he threw it all the message, <laughs> threw <away> everything. <laughs> and then uh, on that day, the healing come. He he was very thin and then he became a stronger, stronger. Stronger, stronger. <laughs> it's amazing. Within within I did two months they become normal. Amazing healing. And then he respected me so much. And then do you know what he did? He has got the plenty of money. Every single morning after the morning service, he he gave the like English breakfast. <laughs> He blessed the whole the twelve, including me thirteen. Everybody enjoyed the uh, breakfast <laughs> because of this man. By the very nice meal. And remember, he he received the first love from Jesus. And remember, when I love Jesus, this love of Jesus is overflowing from me and touch the people's life. How about you, brother? How about you, sister? Do you have the full of love? Please sit down. Yeah. Ask everybody, come, please don't, you know, yeah. Do you know, have the, no, this is okay. It's a word of God, it's more important. Yeah, full of the love of Jesus. Efficient church, big church, mega church. Jesus said, I know your hard work. I know your perseverance. I know your, uh, you cannot, you know, Tolerant, a wicked man. I know you did well, but I need to against you. What? You have forsake your first love. Where is my first love? When you met me, when you met Jesus, how did you feel? You like honeymoon time. You enjoyed heaven. Yeah, you don't want to run away from presence of God. You're exciting. I can do something for Jesus. I am ready to die for Jesus. That kind of you know, excitement. But now, where is this uh, first love? If you don't repent and do the things you did at first, if you do not repent, God, Jesus, I will come to you and remove your lampstand um, from its place. What does it mean? Anointing of the Lord gone away. It's gone. God cannot use you anymore. Yeah. You have this in your favor. You hate the practice of Nicolaitans, which I also hate. When God hates something, you should hate. Can you say amen? amen. If God loves something, you should love in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. God loves the winning the soul for Jesus. I love winning the soul for Jesus. And God love, I love. God hate. Sins. I hate the sins. And do you know what Jesus said? He who has ear. How many of you have ear? Yeah? Who has ear? Let them hear what the Holy Spirit said to the churches, you and me. To him who overcome. Overcome means, do you know, every seven churches, uh, same message. Who, yeah, who have uh, uh, overcome. I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is the paradise of God. Where is the first love? When you met Jesus, do you have the first love? That first love, where is the first love? 
Yeah. If you lost there, oh God, I'm so sorry. Repent. And remember why you lost this first love. Do it again. Yeah, do it again. Yeah. When you met Jesus, I'll do it again. When I came to UK, I was preaching at three in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning, I was preaching in front of King's Cross Station with the Victory Outreach, the missionaries. At three in the morning, you know, I wake up around 2.40 and then come to the street with the all missionar missionaries. And then I stand in front of the station. Guess who are the, the, who are the main people at three in the morning? Drug dealers, farmers. Drug <laughs> dealers. Yeah. Drug dealers. Drug addicts, prostitutes, gangsters, all these people, alcoholic, these people. I know. Two prostitutes came to me. Do you know what they say? Uh, we love you. I love you. They say to me. Do you know what I say? I love you too. They are so exciting when I say I love you. <laughs> they want to take me to go somewhere. <laughs> when I say I love you too, so happy. And then I speak like this. Because Jesus loves you. Guess what, Chapa? Because Jesus loves you, therefore I love you. And they are so angry. <laughs> when I say I love you, they are happy. But when I say Jesus loves you, they are angry. <laughs> I was preaching. <laughs> I was preaching three in the morning. One guy, English guy, I think middle of 20, he kneeled down. Three in the morning, he said, I used to be Christian. But... Now I'm backslid. I'm I'm lost the ship. Can you pray for me? He kneeled down. And he was weeping. I never ever seen in my life. Three in the morning, one guy kneeled down in front of me. He asked me, "Can you pray for me?" I was pray for him. He 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 discovered first love again. He repented the sins. You see, one sinner come back to Jesus at three in the morning. I saw that. And this is a message for me, for you. Don't tell me I believe in Jesus 30 years, for 40 years. But now, do you have a personal love? You still have a personal love. You have a full of excitement when you say Jesus. You're touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. When you say Jesus, you have the so strong, um, the presence of come down. Where is it? You become proud, become arrogant, far away from the presence of God. Repent. Repent. This message for every Christian. Everybody who claimed I'm a Christian or a pastor, you know, doesn't matter your position, pastor or minister or bishop or missionary, where is the first love? First love. First love is very important. Keep the first love all the times, every day. Oh God, I don't want to lose this first love. Lord, have a mercy on me. I want to keep this first love all the days of my life. Yeah. How many of you remember your first love? Do you remember first love? Can you do it again? Do it again. Do it again. Repent and do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Let's pray together. Oh God, have mercy on me. Oh God, I ask you, Lord. Oh Lord, we surrender our life to Jesus. And we met Jesus. When we met Jesus, oh God, we, we had a wonderful first love. Oh God, we are ready to die for Jesus. And we, we love Jesus with wholeheartedly. But now we lost the first love. God, oh, have mercy on us. We repent our sins. We are so sorry. And you speak to us. Uh, yet I hold against you now. You have forsaken your first love. Where is your first love? Repent. And do the things you did at first. Do it again. Oh God, have mercy on us, Lord. We cry out to you, Lord. You will do it again. 
We do it. We keep the, this first love. We keep the fire of the Holy Spirit in our heart. Oh God, help us, Lord. We are so sorry. We keep this fire. Keep this first love all the days of our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Keep on praying. And Christmas Eve serves at 8 o'clock. After that, we'll go to the old public place, hospital, fire station, and police station. And we're singing and then preach the gospel for all these public workers. And Christmas Day, we have a morning service at 11 o'clock in English service. And I believe that even Christmas time, many souls come to Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you.